well good morning welcome to Debbie's back porch uh, today we're going to clarify some butter um, and if you're not familiar with that I'll do a little explanation so what is clarified butter well it's really just that uh, you melt butter and you remove uh, all the solids and what you have left is the fat uh, we've talked about before when you're cooking with butter uh, butter is one of those fats that's not all fat. It has a fairly high percentage of water, and it varies based on how much you pay for the butter, usually. Uh, it has whey solids, and it has milk solids, along with the fat and some water. So, butter being a wonderful thing, I cook with it a lot. And most of the time, the solids and the water don't make much difference because they cook out during the process. Uh, or the water cooks out during the process. Uh, but, you know, when you put a stick of butter in a pan and you heat it up, you see all that foam. Uh, that's not always appropriate. When you're going to be cooking at a really high heat, uh, the solids in the butter can burn and can become bitter. Uh, now, I don't clarify butter a lot uh, because most of my cooking, it's okay to use the solid butter, but I'm going to be making something tonight, and I'm going to be cooking it um, at a kind of a high heat, and, and I want to have clarified butter for it. So, um, I have a pound of butter in this stainless steel heavy-bottomed pot. Now, you know I like um, cast iron, but this particular process is better done either in uh, stainless steel heavy bottom or uh, enameled cast iron and I'm not doing that because it's kind of heavy and I have to do a lot of lifting with this so I'm using my uh, one stainless steel pot uh, I have a actually I have two one is a huge stock pot and I have this um, so why would you do it uh, you would do it uh, if you're going to be cooking things on high heat uh, that you don't want to smoke, uh, you, you raise the smoke point of butter when you clarify it and take the Another thing out. you might be interested to know is that clarified butter and ghee are not the same thing. People use the terms interchangeably. Uh, they're not the same thing. Clarified butter is generally done at a low heat, uh, and you let just gravity separate the solids out from the liquid. Uh, in Ghee is different. Ghee is cooked at a higher temperature where you actually caramelize uh, the solids uh, and they sort of coagulate. And kind so what we have here is um, the butter is melting. I have it on the very lowest heat on my simmer eye. I'm in no hurry. I can let this stay on here as long as I want to. I don't want to just go off and leave it, but I can do other things while it's melting and so can you so we'll come back when the butter is melted okay we're going to check in on this now it's been oh I don't know about 15 minutes I'm having a really low heat um, and if you can see it's separating the solids the foam this is the whey solids have come up to the top I'm going to turn it a little bit so you can see it and you can see some solids down at the bottom and uh, I'm going to, and everything's melted, so I'm going to take this to the next step. Okay, if you can see, I've got two containers here. You don't have to have this kind of container. You can use just a bowl. Uh, this is empty. This one I have some straining cloths on. This is not cheesecloth. You can use cheesecloth. If you do, you want to have several layers. Uh, these are my straining bags that I use for jelly and whatever. Um, so here, let's pour up our melted butter. And you can even see in here, there are quite a few of the solids left in there. And this is already separating, you can see. And I'm going to put a little bowl here. 
I'm going to start by just skimming off this foam on the top. And I'll mention all the directions you find for this are going to say to use unsalted butter. And my confession time here is this is salted butter. Uh, and I usually use salted butter. Lightly salted. Um, if you're baking, that matters. If you're frying and stuff, not so much. Um, the only difference in this process between salted and unsalted is that you don't actually know how much salt is left. Uh, it'll, it'll concentrate the salt a little bit in your finished product. But it doesn't interfere with the process itself. Okay, that's the first strain. Now, I want you to look and see if you can see. It might be hard to see, but there are solids accumulating at the bottom here. I'm going to let it sit for a little while and let them uh, concentrate more at the bottom, and then I'll do the final step. Okay, there's a little bit more foam here at the top. I'm going to skim it. I have another word about ghee. I, 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 I don't, haven't liked the results when I've, I've made it with the high heat method. Ghee, making ghee is a high heat method. Um, butter has a, of all the fats, it has a pretty low uh, boiling point, smoke point. And, I mean, even after it's clarified. This, the clarifying it brings the smoke point up, but it, it will, under long, high heat for a long period of time, it's not like lard or oil or even chicken fat. It, uh, it has a, a smoke point even lower than olive oil is my understanding, which, you know, Olive oil is really not for frying. I know people use it for frying, but it has a low smoke point. So, um, if you boil this to make ghee, in my humble opinion, you're already contributing to the breakdown of the fats. And so, I just don't like the results as much as this low temperature clarifying. Uh, and that's why I do it this way, even though it does take just a little bit more of my time. You have to boil it longer for the ghee, uh, but there's less of your time taken up. So, I added a little light. I hope you can see this better. But if you see all these solids at the bottom, uh, we're going to pour this off and try to leave all these solids on the bottom. I'm, I'm going to start by using a ladle because that'll disturb the process less. It will disturb the sediment at the bottom less. And I'm just straining it through these layers of cloth. You can use cheesecloth. To get out any of the impurities that I couldn't scoop off the top and I'm going to leave as much as I can at the bottom. See, even being very careful, you get a little bit. That's why I'm straining it. Use the smaller wipe that. Okay, I'm gonna leave as 
get as much of the clear liquid as I can without introducing those solids back in. And this is what I'm talking about. It taking more time to do it this way than making ghee. But I just I just like the product the end product better. So, so here we have our clarified butter. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. And after a couple of hours of chilling, which I'm, I'm not going to show you, but after a couple hours of chilling, this will solidify again, but it won't be as hard as butter. Um, and it'll be wonderful to use in uh, sauteing potatoes or anything that you want to cook at a little bit higher heat um, and it'll crisp things up the way uh, solid butter won't and so this goes in the fridge now this other uh, leftover stuff and, and you lose about you know 20 25 percent uh, of the volume when you do this this other stuff, this is not a total waste. This is milk solids. We haven't cooked them at a high heat and caramelized them, so they're still usable. Uh, and and they're, I'm going to put them in a smaller container and refrigerate them too. And um, I, I'm going to use them to add to like a baked potato, something that's not, that's already cooked. We're just uh, adding it for flavor because it's retained its flavor but now I did use salted butter so it's going to be very salty uh, if you use uh, sweet cream butter uh, you won't have that extra salt in there but this is not actually waste it's just a separation and it can be used also and, I, and you know I'm not going to throw it away so your clarified butter is good in the refrigerator for weeks and weeks um, and it won't last nearly as long as it, uh, it, we will use it up long before it will go bad. Uh, and you might want to keep this uh, just for those special cooking uh, uh, events where you want to have the flavor of butter uh, without any burning and popping and crackling. And you might want, and and you may be wanting to use a little bit higher heat. So there you go. That's how to clarify butter.